Hey, my name is Zen and I'm here to talk about um, fear-free cancer journey. I back in, I just want to kind of like dive in right away and let you know that I'm announcing my breast cancer here on YouTube and I'm going to be doing a video series on how to move through a cancer journey like the one I'm going about to go on and be connected to something bigger, broader, and wiser in making the decisions using a process I call flow, which is like feeling light, open, and wise, and using your body to make decisions. Um, tiny bit about me, and then I'm gonna share what my cancer journey has been so far. And then I'll be doing short, I love short, short little videos, anywhere from five to nine minutes max, that will just give different parts of what's happening um, along the journey and how I'm using the tools that I've developed to, to navigate it and to, and to really have this be a different experience. Um, so I'm a teacher. I, have, I run an online academy called Smart Soul Academy. You can check it out at smartsoulacademy.com if you want to. But the real reason I'm doing this is because I have been researching for the past 23 years this sensation that we have in the middle of our body between our throat and our upper solar plex area where the ribs come together. And in, in working with thousands of people, um, I've had some questions about what, how do you follow this inner guidance that you have, this divine wisdom that you can have access to if you do particular practices and things on a consistent basis. And over the years, I've had people ask me, what do you do when it's really, really hard? When, when life throws you a curveball, when someone's gonna die or you get a cancer diagnosis or you find out that you're bankrupt because of fi a financial, you know, economic downturn. There's all kinds of things that we come in contact with. And does this thing, your internal guidance system, work during those times? And w what I've found is, is that since I found the lump in my breast, I have had this expanded opening feeling, which is guidance that what I'm thinking about the lump and my and having cancer and all that is true. So I'm gonna give you a teeny itty bitty bit and then I'm not gonna do a lot of teaching on these videos. If you wanna find out more, go to Smart Soul Academy. This is really for people who are already studying it, but I think you'll get a lot out of it if you decide you wanna follow me on this journey or if maybe you have cancer yourself, I'm gonna give tips and ideas about what I'm actually doing to stay in a fear-free state. And that is really the truth of this. I have been filled with confidence and even a, an excitement, a love, uh, a tenderness has come over, a preciousness has come over me. And I have had very little, very, very little itsy bitsy tiny things that I will be talking about in these videos, like coming up to the biopsy, I had some fear and I wanna talk about what I did with that. But the basic premise of this is that we have a tight feeling in the center of our body lump in our throat, tightness in our chest, sick feeling like a rock that won't go away where your solar plex upper stomach area is. And when you feel that way, that's guidance that what you're thinking is not true or not going to happen. And that when you feel a release of that tension, that means that you are what you're thinking is more true or moving you toward what is going to happen, all right? And so a lot of people, have associated this sensation in their body with if you're tight it means there's a bad thing coming towards you and it's going to happen and actually in the research that I've done over the past 23 years it's the opposite what's true for you will bring a lightness a confidence a sense of ease a sense of knowing a sense of deep connectedness when what your mind is generating is true the thoughts you're having are true and so I've been teaching this for a long time and the tight feeling I teach people to understand as stress, and I define stress as anytime you're worried, have fear, anxiety, overwhelm, frustration, you know, irritation, doubt, uncertainty, guilt. These are all things that cause a tightening in the center of your body when you're experiencing them, which means what you're thinking is not true. Now here's the crux of the situation for all the people that I've studied that have studied with me and learned the tools and practices to do this. They've said, well, how can all fear be not true? And I'm here to tell you that all fear, which is those things I just listed, means that what you're thinking is not true or not gonna happen. And I'm not asking you to take my word for it. You can practice it, you can work with it yourself, do whatever you need to do to, to kind of play with that experience or, you, you know, that is something that I want you to play with yourself. It proves itself. 
but on big things, right? Like cancer, right? How do you use this? Does it really work? This tool that I call the internal guidance system, does it really work when the shit is hitting the fan? Okay. And I do cuss. You guys put a <laughs> bleep in there if you want. Not a lot, but I do because it's the reality of my life. And, and when the shit hits the fan, what do you do? Right? And what I have told people over the years, and I have experienced this myself when people have, have died or are going to die, or when I was gonna you know, not have the money I needed for, for rent, or I mean, I could go on and on. There's tons of situations, as have my students. When something that's scary, that your mind thinks is scary and dire happens, uh, you get this expanded feeling because it's true. And it doesn't feel like fear anymore. It feels like a deep knowing experience. So what happened for me was, is in February, I was doing a self breast examination. I had had a mammogram the following October, so only a few months before, and I found a lump. And as soon as I felt it, I thought, that's cancer. And I felt the expanded, the open feeling. There was no tightness around it. I've had these little lumps before. They're like fibroids, a thick mass in my breast. But every time I thought, oh no, is this cancer? I would get a tight feeling. And that tight feeling means that what you're thinking is not true or not gonna happen. And this time I got an opening. So I immediately knew that this lump that I was feeling had was cancer. And so I took a couple weeks and just kind of sat with it, like feeling into what I wanna do and getting clear. And I, I got clearly that I was gonna to have to have treatment. I got clearly that this was gonna be something that did not take my life. I opened that I was gonna live. I opened that I had cancer. I opened that it was gonna be a journey I was gonna need to go on. And I opened that it was actually good. And I know that sounds really crazy, but one of the things I believe is, and I live my life by as a lifestyle, is that the things that happen to me are important. The things that happen to me are part of my purpose. And so I felt this expanded feeling with all of these thoughts. And since day one, of feeling that lump and all the way through, I've had opening, an opening about what's going on for me. And and so there has been some closings, but I know how to work with my mind, which I'm gonna share with you how to do that because if you're in the middle of having a cancer journey, I would love to be able to share with you ways for you to be able to move through it and have this expanded divine, purposeful, non-fearful, no fear, no fear. You can go through cancer with zero fear if you know how to work with your mind and these tools. And I'm gonna do it in front of you, for you, with my students. I'm gonna show them, they're gonna hear a lot of things that are like practices or tips or tools or things that I say or ways to work with your mind and, and produce different thoughts. And in that, you're gonna be able to work with this yourself. But not only that, I'm gonna be able to walk through the people who have studied with me. I'm gonna walk them through how to use the exact thing that they've, they've learned from me over the years in a situation that feels traumatic to your mind and your body. And I think that's the most important thing is being present and conscious with your mind and your body. And so I um, have a biopsy and then we'll be moving into, um, they're sending me straight in to, uh, well, first of all, real quick, um, I have had a mammogram after it, it I, the radiologist told me it is cancer. I let them know that I knew that I'm going to talk about my mammogram next and the biopsy and then moving on to the diagnosis and then the treatment path. And I'm just going to do these videos as often as it feels right and share with you the journey and how this works. If you want more information on the stuff that I teach, it's perfectly fine. You don't have to have that to get a lot of beautifulness out of this journey that I'm going to about to start. But if you want that, then all you have to do is go on to uh, smartsoulacademy.com and you can check out what's there. It's a $25 a month membership program with 19 programs in it. So it's not expensive. I'm not here to sell something. I'm here to really show how we can live in a fear free life with all that comes to us as part of our purpose. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and move on to um, the mammogram experience and the biopsy. I like to keep my videos short so you don't have to sit here forever. And if you ever get bored, you can always speed up <laughs> and go through them quicker um, by speeding up the, the speed that with which you listen to it. But I hope you hang out and check it out. And if you know anybody who has cancer, please share. I think this is gonna be beneficial as a mindset to use to heal your body. One of the biggest things I'm hearing from the oncologists and the people I'm talking to is that stress is a proponent, is a, is a, is a part of their cancer journey that they really can't help them with. And um, I'm willing to walk you through my stress-free journey experience. All right, thank you, bye.